Today I'm bringing this new Barbarian into a tier 101 of the pit for the very first time and we're gonna see how that fares and we're actually gonna compare that to my Druid who I have a ton of time invested in and has really high end gear. In fact, a lot of it is near perfect. So noob versus legendary. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so this is the Druid and it's pretty legendary. I've got a cool skin, it's got some wings, which it deserves, at least I feel it does. Capped resistances, it has 64% attack speed bonus, 56% critical strike chance, all the gear at rank 12 master working, and a lot of these bonuses for the master working that you get at tier four, eight, and 12 are pretty well rolled. You'll see here there's some critical strike chance, attack speed, a lot of greater affix gear. So overall, this character is very well off. In fact, prior to the patch, this cleared tier 105 and could have gone even further with the right mob set and even the bosses, or perhaps even just somebody better playing it. Now this Barbarian is a complete noob. I've just recently hit level 100, although this is an alt and there's a large bonus to having a previous character at level 100 since a lot of materials and gold carry over. So don't mistake this for being a character that only has 10 hours invested, which is probably my time played. There's a lot of benefit from having that first character being the Druid, but nonetheless, resist at 55, here's the point at 53. Okay, this is noob stuff, missing a gem, a lot of this gear at rank four, some of the gear at rank eight, one piece at rank six, nothing at rank nine or higher in terms of master working and in terms of the bonuses a lot of them are pretty poor so i haven't re-rolled anything at this point just accepting whatever i get tempering is pretty well off in this character i have gone through a bunch of pieces like i said having some leftover gear definitely helped in that regard and even acquiring some of the greater affix gear as well one big point here is two-handed axe expertise is typically regarded as being the best weapon expertise that you can have. And I have quite literally never even equipped an ax on this character, or at least a two-handed one. So again, new Barbarian, still clearing the same content that we're seeing a high-end geared Druid doing. Let's jump right into a tier 101 within the pit. And we're on the Druid right now, okay? This is previously cleared tier 105 prior to the patch. So this should be even easier. Almost go down right in the opener there. There's so much effort being put forward here. I can't believe it. In fact, I'm actually feel like I'm sweating just watching this gameplay. This is crazy when compared to the Barbarian. Kapow, kapow, feel the power in my veins. I mean, the parents will at least get that reference, but the point is Barbarian is so simple compared to the Druid. You just run around, use some shouts, swing your mace, and things go down. And you actually have better survivability as well. I've got the Den Mother on both characters, and that is just so we can do a further comparison here. This is the biggest difference between the two builds, in my opinion. But keep in mind that the Barbarian has nowhere near the levels of gear or even the perfect rolls that the Druid does on its affixes in terms of the gear. So the Druid is obviously doing far more damage at this point. Incredible uptime. This is a good boss for the Druid. It's a decent boss for the Barbarian as well. It's going to take multiple attempts from the Den Mother to actually disappear and come back in order for the Barbarian to clear it. But nonetheless, it will do so over time. For the Druid, it looks like the total run had the boss not vanished would have been about four minutes and 45 seconds but since we do have to wait a few seconds it ends up being closer to four minutes and 50 seconds the barb who had the den mother vanish multiple times actually ends up with about five minutes and 40 seconds for the total run time so overall the new barbarian is slower which is kind of to be expected but i imagine that this is going to get a lot faster as the gear continues to improve for further comparison, I also jumped into tier 61 since that's such a popular mark for a lot of players. That was about two minutes and 15 seconds for the Druid. The Barbarian, faring much better on this boss, actually ends up with about two minutes and 40 seconds for the total runtime, perhaps even just a few seconds less. But again, really, really close. Also be mindful that this is during a period that the Holy Bolt Elixir is not working. So I didn't run that for any of the dungeon runs or rift runs, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to call them rifts, okay? Anyways, Holy Bolt Elixir was not used in any of those, and the time likely would have been faster for all four runs. Here we have both characters going at once, and the Druid is going to be on the left side of your screen, while the Barbarian is going to be on the right. You can compare both of these and see if you prefer the feel of one gameplay or even playstyle compared to the other. The Druid, you're going to run up to mob packs and then start casting tornadoes, and you need to stand still in order to cast these tornadoes. However, the Barbarian can actually continue to move while bashing. You'll see you can just kind of sweep your way through enemies while moving forward on the screen or progressing the map. For the Druid, you'll run, pause, get those tornadoes out, reposition to stay safe, and then continue on in that same fashion. Both characters are great farmers, so don't mistake either of these for being poor at that. Druid overall will do more damage while it's able to capitalize on multiple tornadoes hitting the same enemy. While the Barbarian really has no uptime, the Druid's got a lot of abilities and buffs that it needs to maintain, 
and even stack together in order to get the character's most benefit. For the Barbarian, you just hit your shouts when they're active and then go flail away on the enemies. The Druid, you're trying to shift through forms, get Werebear for two seconds, swift back into Werewolf for two seconds, and then capitalize your damage. So there's just a little bit more added to it. If you prefer to just kind of mindlessly play and farm, the Barbarian may be a better choice in that regard. If you prefer a more engaging playstyle, well, you may prefer the Druid. So just some things to think about. Overall, both these characters, as you've seen in this video, can not only farm very efficiently, but they can clear higher tiers as well, both very starting builds in this particular season. At this point, the Druid has already entered into the boss, and this boss is going to go down very quickly. Barbarian just now entering into the boss itself. This boss at a lower tier like this is only going to take several hits, well, a few more than several, but nonetheless, this boss is going to go down relatively easy, and there's no concern about dying. You can just sit in all the damage coming your way. I'll scroll through all the items just so you can see which aspects and even unique items are being used. This build is directly copied from Rob2628. This was an alt. I just wanted a build that had been proven to get going and started with the character before I start tweaking or even making builds of my own. This build was fantastic for starting out incredibly solid for leveling once you get up into the ancestral item range and after that it just continued to improve I was clearing tier 100 nightmare dungeons around level 90 and that was essentially basically once i had the max level gems equipped the biggest holdup for this particular build or layout is going to be your resistances but once you have your armor capped and even beef those resistances with the max level gems like i mentioned the character's progress will become a lot smoother I'll do a quick pass through the skill tree as well in case you want to pause it and just look at some specific talents but there will be a link within the video description for this build and the druid build as well where you can check all these out in more detail overall this is a fantastic build really easy to play can't get any simpler in my opinion you essentially just walk through the mobs and kill them also do a once over of the Druid as well for anybody interested in that. This one runs a couple of unique items. And after that, it's just gonna have some aspects which you can slap on legendary gear. Pieces of gear for this particular character are very strong, but this build is slower to take off of the ground when compared to that of the Bash Barbarian. So this is more something you may wanna work towards, especially if you're starting late in the season. For the Bash Barbarian, you could start really quickly and kind of catch up, so to speak. Quick once over for the skill tree as well. And if you're interested in the Paragon trees, those will be available in the link description. I think it makes a lot more sense rather than scrolling over the boards in which you may not be able to see the points without them being zoomed in and even which board is placed where. So make sure you check out the links in the description if you wanna see these builds in action yourself. I hope you found the results of this somewhat interesting or possibly even intriguing. And I'll be happy to do more of these videos where we compare even different builds of the same class. And I'll essentially just compare as much as possible so you can get a better feel for these builds as we push forward with the game with all the changes that are to come. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.